From his stronghold in the wild Sierra Maestre Mountains, Cuba's Fidel Castro emerged triumphant after two years of guerrilla warfare against the Batista regime. The revolution that began with Castro a fugitive, practically alone, landing with 82 followers to be nearly wiped out by government forces, ended with the flight of dictator Fulgencio Batista and the entry into Havana of rebel forces to be acclaimed by the city. The forces of Castro's 26th of July movement, named for the anniversary of his first attack on the regime in 1953, have grown vastly, their power enlarged by captured and surrendered army weapons. Nearly two years of hit-and-run warfare, aimed at toppling Batista's government by paralyzing Cuba's economy, culminated in victory as 1958 ended. Castro met an all-out government offensive with a counterattack, and in the battle for the key rail center of Santa Clara, won the crucial victory. Batista resigned to prevent more bloodshed and fled the country. His departure touched off while rejoicing in the capital as the first elements of rebel forces entered Havana. At first, the celebration was peaceful as shouting, cheering crowds surged through the city. Then the temper of the throng changed and an ugly mob ranged the streets. Its prime targets, the symbols of the overthrown regime, the gambling casinos, the parking meters, the homes and businesses of Batista's cronies. Six years of surface prosperity and government corruption, of repression and police brutality, bred explosive discontent. Now Batista has fled. A new leader is on the scene, Fidel Castro. In many ways, an unknown quantity in his politics and policies, but certain to be dominant in Cuba's new era just begun.